thank you all for coming. Welcome to Aya's channel. Today I will be doing a voiceover since the original video was in Japanese. Now we are on part four of this forehand series, and I will be talking about the most important thing when you're hitting your stroke. So just to do a quick review of the previous videos, we talked about first how to hold your grip and your swing, so the take back and what you want to do when you're hitting the ball. And then after that, we talked about the tempo and where exactly you want to be hitting your stroke. After that, we discussed how to hit topspin on your ball. Today will be the last part finishing the stroke, which is the follow through. It is the most important thing a lot of people tend to forget since it does seem very simple. But we always need to remember to focus on this follow through. This is the motion that will put together your stroke and give you the perfect power and the control on the ball. A lot of times we always focus on the contact point which is very important as well. But after the contact point, the ball will go up since you're adding topspin and you're swinging from low to high. When that is done, the ball is going up but we need something to bring the ball back down so that it goes back into the court. This is where the follow through comes in. The most important thing that you want to focus on your follow through is always to swing all the way to your shoulders. You want to make it swing all the way up. Never stop your follow through. So just let the momentum run after you swing. I want that elbow all the way up right there and almost next to your chin so that when you're doing it, your racket is almost hitting your back and your elbow. I want to make sure that it's pointing out up and almost to the other side of the net so your opponent is standing over there I want to feel like I'm sticking my elbow out to my opponent so stick it out by doing this when you're hitting your stroke you're gonna make your contact extend out and that elbow is gonna allow the ball to dip back into the court and give you the control and the power that you want you want to always try to have the same exact follow through on all of your strokes. Alright, so now I would like to hit some balls and practice my follow through. And a great way to do this, to practice your follow through, is by holding your position of the follow through after you hit your shot. So I want you to try and hold it for about 3 seconds so that it helps you to really realize where your balance is at when you're hitting your stroke gives you full control of your body, so you're going to hit and hold it. You're going to hit your ball, boom, and hold. And make sure that elbow is pointing out to your opponent. Here's some slow motion, I'm going to hit, extend, and follow through all the way up. And make sure my elbow is pointing to my opponent. Alright guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and this tip will really help your stroke. It definitely does help me to always focus and go back to the simple things because we do tend to forget them sometimes and so it's very important to focus on the really small things to keep improving our game. This will be the last video for the Forehand Beginner series but I will be moving on to backhands and serves and volleys after, so please keep following this channel for more tennis tutorial videos. And let's keep working hard together. I hope you guys liked my video, and if you did, please hit that like button down below, subscribe if you haven't for me, and comment if you have any questions or any comments in general. Thank you all for watching, and see you all soon!